very, very rare that I found somebody who's been a Mac user for years and then has gone, I'm gonna ditch the Mac and I'm gonna try Windows. Doesn't happen. So you've got the Mac, you've got the PC. Windows, both have their good things, both have their bad things. Should you switch to a Mac from a Windows PC? Most of people out in the world, the majority, will be running Windows. But then there's this other ecosystem called the Mac and a lot of people have been making the switch over to the Mac. So we're gonna be talking about why I think you should be switching over or maybe why you may wanna be a bit cautious. But there are some pitfalls or some things that some people don't think about when they are moving over to the Mac. So we're gonna talk about that today. Hey, but before we do that, you're watching this on the YouTube machine. So why don't you click on the subscription button and on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. My name is Emilio, I work in tech. I love tech and I've worked with both Mac and Windows professionally in a workplace environment. So seeing the pros and the cons of both and then also personally working with both. Here's my story. I was a uh, die hard, die hard Windows. Uh, when I was in school, I had a Windows computer. I started working in a computer store uh, selling Windows computers, advising people to go and buy a Windows computer, building it for them, troubleshooting it, all of that. Then a friend of mine said to me one day, hey, I've got a job at a Apple center, at an Apple store, selling Apple computers. Would you like to come? There's an opening. You gotta be kidding me. I don't like Mac. Why would I leave my job selling the best operating system in the world, Microsoft Windows, to go and work with the Mac. I'm secretly gonna be a Windows lover undercover at an Apple store. They're not gonna convert me, they're not gonna change me over. But the reality is it didn't take very long. Probably took about a month, a couple of months for me to really see the Mac in a new light. Cause I started using it, like I was given a Mac for work. Sort of looked similar, but it was also very different to what I was used to. And I started finding out that I could practically do everything that I was doing on Windows on the Mac. Back then, the Mac was uh, was not as well known. I mean, th th there was people, there was almost like an Apple cult that existed where you had Apple diehard fanboys and fangirls that were just like all about Apple, all about the Mac. Anybody who was a Windows fan uh, thought those people were weird. And then something incredible happened. The amazing late Steve Jobs decided to do a uh, event where he released this new device called the iPhone. Wow, uh, that really took took the world by storm. You could just tap, touch on the screen and just have access to all of your stuff and then he released the iPad and everything like that. But as a result of the uh, the iPad and the, and the iPhone coming out, a lot more people took interest in Apple. I'm gonna go and buy myself now an Apple device. I'm gonna buy myself an iPhone and have my Windows computer on the side. And then I think the more and more people got used to playing around with their iPhone, with their iPad, they actually realized, hey, this is actually really, really easy to use. It just works. I wonder if the Mac is the same. So then there was a bit of a shift that sort of took place from here, where a lot more people started getting an interest uh, they were inquisitive about the Mac. The Apple sales went up and the rest is history. A lot more people are adopting the Mac. A lot more businesses are starting to use the Mac. But now it's very common to see Mac computers out in various businesses. A hybrid model of Windows and Macs working together. Most things that you can do on a Windows PC, you can do on a Mac. You still have icons. You still have a Explorer window for managing all of your files and folders. You know, in Windows, it was Windows Explorer. On the Mac, it was just called Finder. The Mac had this cool little thing down the bottom, which is called a dock, which is really just shortcuts. You can still do copy and paste. And a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, but you can't get these applications for the Mac. If you're big into Word editing, Excel, PowerPoint, well, Microsoft Office, Microsoft, funny, hey, Microsoft make Windows, but they've also made Microsoft Office for the Mac. Something like AutoCAD. AutoCAD is this architecture design software that was Windows only. Well, a number of years ago, these people decided, hey, we're gonna release a Mac version. Now there's a Mac version of the same software package. Google Chrome, Firefox, these web browsers, they're available on both. You can look at your photos, your videos, 
exactly the same way. If you want to know a little bit more and you want to have a, like a bit more of a side-by-side -side comparison, I do have another video where I've talked about the differences between Windows and the Mac, and I've specifically looked at the latest Windows and Mac OS releases, but ultimately, most of that you can do on Windows, you can now do on the Mac as well. A lot of people that try the Mac don't go back. It's very, very rare that I've found somebody who's been a Mac user for years and then has gone, I'm gonna ditch the Mac and I'm gonna try Windows. Doesn't happen. Comment, let me know your thoughts. And hey, because you're on the YouTube machine, why don't you also subscribe? I release videos every week on all things tech, a lot of stuff on the Mac and on Windows. If you wanna know more, you can check that out. Click on the button. We'll see you next time.